This is a pretty awesome CNC machine, and I've made some pretty epic things on it. Honestly, it's probably my favorite tool in the shop, with the lathe as a close second, but I've been pushing it to its limits, and it's time for an upgrade. Tormach just sent us an Autopeed bandsaw and an 1100MX, which I'm super excited about because it's got a ton of features that make life a lot easier as uh, someone's seeing seeing stuff. Let's unbox these and then reorganize the, tool, the machine shop because it's not gonna fit as is. So, something like about the Tormach crates, which are better than other crates I got from China recently. So they're not moldy. Yeah, moldy crates are not nice. How does it smell? Like wood? Seems like we're reorganizing the entire shop to fit new things. Like we've got a laser over there that's new, which is why this is all a giant mess. And two new Tormach machines, which is great, but like everything needs to be re reorganized. And where does everything go? I think I know where the band's on goes. It goes right here. Kind of nestled in there. If we have something long that we need to cut, it'll just fit through the bottom there. And if it's even longer, then we pull out the, the sandy table roller thing. Put it on the other side, or even on the front. You go right there. But for most jobs, I think it'll work right here. But it needs air, it needs compressed air, so I need to run a new line here. A lot of work to do. This is what you get when you buy a Tormach. There's like I don't know, 100 pages of like, no, no, 250 pages of how to. <laughs> Thank you, Tormach, for actually telling me how to do things. Now it seems Ian is nowhere to be seen and you are here doing the thing. What happened? I don't know, Ian kind of walked away. I need the machine to machine some parts of Bogdan, so I guess I need to set it up. Was he, was Ian possibly crying? Ian crying? Yeah, yeah I saw Ian walk away from the machine crying, so. Yeah. I need to machine some parts of Brogdon, so I guess I need to build it. What will we be building with this machine? Everything, but more specifically, we need to just build lightsaber parts of Brogdon. Lightsaber parts? Because okay. our old 440 doesn't have the spinning fourth axis. So this one has it, so we can machine all the complicated round parts on it. How do you feel about the new machines? I'm wondering where we're gonna put them. You're wondering where we're gonna put them? It seems like there's like a spot right there. Yeah, but we still gotta build a wall around that laser. It's gonna take up a lot of space. Ian. Hey. When I started this vlog, you were unpackaging the torn box, and now you just have Ben doing your dirty work. And then he told me you left crying. <laughs> Is that what he said? <laughs> That's what he said. Yeah. I did not orchestrate it at all that you were crying in this story, but you were now crying. <laughs> what's the, what's the kind of the status on the uh, Tormod machines? Uh, real status is we're waiting for the ATC to come in. It was on back order, so it should be coming in this week. Uh, when we have that, then we can like finalize everything, but we might put it in place before then anyways. What is an ATC? Automatic tool changer. Have you always wanted one of those? Always. Always. I didn't think I needed one when I got the 440, but now I need one. Yeah. Baga. What's up? What's are you uh, are you excited for the new machines? The what? Yeah. Are you excited for the new machines? So excited. I'm just glad I don't have to set them up. You look really excited based off of your enthusiasm and the tone of your voice. Really excited. I definitely don't have a meeting to be at right now. No, of course not. Uh, what, uh, what are we going to use the machines first to build? Lightsaber. So the, the new 4-axis Tormach, we're going to use that to make the new lightsaber handle, which is going to be super, super fancy. 
Nice. You know I've been looking all over for you. Have you? Yeah. No. Oh. It's okay. Basically, this machine is not perfect. So I have to put all the bolts in loosely before huh. I can tighten anything down and assemble almost the entire machine. So if you notice like around the edges, a bunch of bolts are actually loose. That's how I can fit everything in and like the doors close and look good and such. And then when I'm done with the machine, then I tighten down all the bolts around it. Machine's done. And I'm not just finishing finishing touches. I need to do that back panel on the other side. It's all assembled and I gotta say it was super easy, but that's because I made Ben do it for me. So let's move it to the machine shop. So this is our machine shop. It's a little packed as is, and we've got to fit another machine in there that's bigger than all the other machines. I think I'm gonna put it where the 440 is now, but then where do I put the 440? I've been sitting here for about two hours trying to figure out where to put this machine. I could put them all, all three of them in a row, but then there wouldn't be any enough room between them. I could move the 440 out and put it somewhere else, but where am I going to put it? I could try to rotate these machines and kind of put them back to back or like facing each other. That would just kind of work weird. So then Chris walks up and he says, hey, why don't you just put the 440 nested into the shelves? And it, it's perfect. It solves all of my problems. So we're going to take out the shelves and we're going to nest the 440 into there, put the 1100 here. I get to keep all my shelves and tooling and all, all that stuff in the same spots. I got lots of room for all the machines and all of my problems are solved. Let's do that. So this machine has a passive probing system, which means with the press of that one button, it'll automatically find the corner of the workpiece. Let's give it a shot. So this machine has a feature called Tormach Hub, where it allows me to upload all the G-code files from my computer upstairs and have them show up on the machine right here. So, I wanna do my bottom face machine. Just click on it, it's direct from the cloud, copy it to the machine. Copy to the machine, load it in. So we've now changed over the tools to a drill bit and we use the new electron tool setter to, to set the tool length. This is an auto feed pan saw, meaning that it'll say if you want 100 pieces, you just type in 100, hit go, and it'll cut you 100 pieces. 
Not only that, but it's a major upgrade from our last pan saw, so even just for cutting one-offs, it's significantly better. So this is our last pan saw. It's uh, seen some mileage. It's cut a lot of things, but it's time for it to retire. The gearbox is actually messed up and it is completely dead. Thanks so much to Tormach for sending us this awesome equipment. So I'm super happy with how this uh, machine shop's turning out. What do you guys think? Is it, is it good? Is it bad? Did I lay it out well? How would you have done it? Leave the comments below. Thanks for watching.